Hi and welcome to this video. Today we're tackling this question. How to start freelancing with no experience in digital marketing. Stay tuned because the insights, tactics and vital steps that I'm about to give you can help you to start working as a freelancer in the digital marketing space even if you have zero experience. And just very quickly, please make sure you hit that subscribe button below if you're new to my channel and give the video a like because that really does motivate me to make more content for you. Thank you very much, let's dive right in. Let me start by telling you what freelance digital marketing actually is. Freelance digital marketing is the name given to the marketing professionals offering clients freelancing services. Digital marketing freelancers usually work from home and help companies and businesses with various digital marketing related tasks. The demand for digital marketing jobs is on the rise, making freelance digital marketing a great career option. As a marketing freelancer, you can be your own boss, set your own hours and rules, and at the same time do something productive and valuable. Let me now briefly explain to you what a freelancing marketing professional will actually do. Unlike other freelancing jobs, a freelancing marketing professional has to wear many hats. Digital marketing has several channels and processes, and you need to have the required skill set to offer a range of services to clients. In addition to the technical tasks as a freelancer, you must know how to prepare work proposals for clients, manage invoices and accounting, project management and reports. I will now give you some steps to follow to help you become a freelance digital marketer. Here we go. Step number one, build the necessary skills. One of the prerequisites for working as a freelancer is to have the skills needed for the job. In a regular job environment, you have other team members who can help you with a task or in many cases, the company will offer you training and development options. But that's not really the case when running a freelancing business. As a freelancer, you'll have to take care of your training and build the necessary skills using online digital marketing courses and other resources that you can find on the web and with a lot of practice. Solo entrepreneurs don't have the luxury of escalating issues to management or outsourcing work to other companies but they have to be able to provide solutions and solve problems without external help. There are a couple of ways to build skills fast. The first and most efficient way is to work as the assistant of an experienced marketer. There are many entry level digital marketing jobs that you can apply to, provided that you know the basics. I suggest you spend some time going for a course and getting a certification. This will help you secure a job as a junior digital marketing professional. You can use your time working as part of the team to learn how a digital marketing agency works. I suggest you ask questions and try to replicate the steps and practices of other professionals. And don't forget that your goal at this step is not to make a career in a particular company, but to learn as many things as possible about how the digital marketing works. When you've had the chance to work on a number of projects and you feel confident that you can do the job on your own, you can then quit and start a freelancing digital marketing career. The next thing that you can do is practice on your own properties. If you don't want to take this path, another way to equip yourself with the necessary skills is to practice digital marketing on your own websites. This differs from the other step, which is building your business website to advertise your freelance services. This part is about creating websites to test and experiment with the different digital marketing processes. Let me give you an example. To learn how to use Google Ads to drive targeted traffic to a website, you will need to have a website that sells products or services. To learn how to use email marketing to make some sales, you need to have a big list of email subscribers. This process will take some time, especially if you're a beginner to digital marketing, but it's the only way to build the necessary experience and the confidence so that you can later offer this as a service to your clients. Here is step number two, build your business website. While working on building your digital marketing skills, you should also start a website for your freelance business. This is an important step and something that many freelancers either skip or do not give the necessary attention to. Your website is the focal point of your business. It's the place to showcase your achievements, describe your services and the medium for clients to contact you. It should be easy to use, optimised for SEO and professional. Let's briefly talk about business or personal website. A decision that you need to make at this point is whether to make your website personal, i.e. alexchris.com, or business oriented. If you make it personal, it will be easier to promote it in the beginning since your name will be your brand 
but it will not be a good fit if you decide at a later stage to turn your freelance business into a full digital marketing agency. So before making a final decision, I suggest you spend a few minutes thinking about the future. What do you want to achieve five years from now? In your thinking, take into account that as your freelance business grows, you'll reach a point where you won't be able to handle all the work yourself and you'll need to hire some employees. Also in the future, you might consider making a business partnership or selling your business and this would be easier with a business oriented website and not a personal brand. Let's move on to step number three, start a digital marketing blog. Regardless of what you will choose, one thing that I suggest that you definitely do from day one before you even start taking on clients is blogging. Start a digital marketing blog and publish content to help your potential clients understand better how you can help them with their digital marketing. Content is a very powerful way to close new clients without having to sell yourself or your services. While blogging, you can eliminate the need to advertise your services using paid ads and save a lot of time trying to find clients in job portals. Now when writing content for your blog, I would highly suggest to try to cover topics closely related to your freelance services. The secret of using your blogs for lead generation is to show your potential clients that you understand the problems and the issues that they are facing when running a digital marketing campaigns. Now when you explain this in detail, it's easier for them to trust you as a possible solution provider. In addition, when you grow your blog traffic to a decent level, you can use the content for affiliate marketing purposes and make extra money by recommending products to your readers or eventually selling your own products. Here is step number four, build your personal brand. Besides publishing content on your blog, you should also promote your personal brand on other websites and social networks. You need to do this regardless of your choice of freelance format, such as business or personal. Even if you decide to operate under a business name, it's your personal brand as a freelancer that will drive traffic and clients to your door. There are two main ways to build your brand as a freelancer. The first way is to publish your content on high traffic websites related to your freelance services. This is known in the digital marketing world as guest posting. Now by publishing your articles on well-known websites, you gain many benefits, such as links to your website. This is good for your off-page SEO efforts and rankings. You'll also gain traffic to your website. Big websites get thousands of visitors per day, and if they like your content, some will eventually visit your website. The next thing is reputation. When potential clients search for your personal name on Google, they will see your guest posts and this is good for your reputation. And establish yourself as an expert. Reputable industry websites have strict rules on who they accept as a guest poster. And those that finally make it is, are perceived as the experts for a given topic. The tricky part is that it's not easy to get published on the big websites, especially if you're a beginner. You first need to prove your digital marketing expertise and one way to do this is by maintaining an active digital marketing blog. The second way is to build your personal brand is to utilize the power of social networks like Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. You can create personal pages on business oriented networks like LinkedIn and Twitter and start connecting with other marketing professionals. Now to increase your chances of being followed by others, I would suggest to make sure that your profile describes who you are and what you do and you publish relevant digital marketing content on your pages. Let's now move on to step number five, make connections with other freelancers. One of the mistakes that I suggest you avoid making that many people make at the beginning of their career is not connecting with other freelance marketers and digital marketing professionals. Now when referring to connections, I don't mean becoming friends on a social media network, but starting a real conversation by email or even Skype. There are many reasons why you need to do this consistently. The first is you can exchange ideas and experiences with like-minded professionals. The second, you can use your connections to promote your personal brand and your content. The third, you can get and send referrals. The fourth, you can work with them for services that you cannot provide, but still keep your relationship with the client. And the fifth, being a digital marketing freelancer is a lonely job. So it's good to have someone to talk to who understands the business's difficulties and provides advice. The best way is to start by following and interacting with other freelancers on social media. 
and then approaching them with a personalized email. Remember, this is not something you'll do in bulk, so you can spend some more time learning about a person before making contact. I would suggest to try to explain from the beginning why you're making contact and how both of you, both parties can benefit from possible cooperation. This can be anything from exchanging ideas, promoting other, each other's content, or working on a joint project. Let's move on to step number six, choose your specialty. Digital marketing has several processes and the freelancer has limited time. If you try to offer a full range of digital marketing services from the beginning, you may get lost. So choosing a specialization is what I suggest you do. It's better to become an expert in a couple of areas than try to wear many hats simultaneously. As you gain more experience and clients, you can expand your offerings. You'll also learn what types of services are more profitable and easier to handle and adjust your processes accordingly. The different areas of digital marketing that you can specialize in are SEO, which is search engine optimization, content marketing, PPC marketing, social media marketing, email marketing, YouTube marketing, and affiliate marketing. The way to become an expert in a digital marketing discipline is the same as before. You want to learn the theory by following a digital marketing course or reading reliable resources on the internet and applying the different techniques on your own social media networks and your own websites. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below the video and don't forget to tell me which step or method from this video you are going to use first. Or if you have any questions, drop them down below and I will follow up with you. If you would like to learn more about how you can create a second income online, I have got something special for you. Click the link below to join our exclusive webinar on creating a second income online. This isn't just a video, it's your ticket to a game changing opportunity. Make sure you don't miss out. Make sure you check out that link and go through to my website and I'll see you at the webinar. I hope you found this video useful. Please share it with your friends, like it and tell people about it. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and please like the video. Just click the subscribe button below the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment under the video below and I will follow up with you. Thank you for watching.